challenging the old, embracing the new, Emma's inner conflict. As the days turned into weeks, Emma found herself increasingly absorbed in the world of the law of attraction. She read books and listened to podcasts, each offering a new perspective on this intriguing philosophy. But with every step forward, her ingrained beliefs, the echoes of her upbringing, schooling, and social norms pulled her back. Phrases like money is evil and struggle builds character, deeply rooted in her psyche, conflicted with the principles of abundance and ease promoted by the law of attraction. Emma's weekdays were a battleground of conflicting ideologies in her small apartment. Surrounded by the hum of the city, she tried to meditate, to visualize abundance and happiness, but her mind rebelled, bombarding her with a parade of doubts and the guilt ingrained from years of contrasting beliefs. The more she learned about the law of attraction, the more she understood that it wasn't just about wishful thinking. It was about transforming her entire mindset, a task that seemed Herculean. One evening, while walking through the city park, Emma realized that her biggest obstacle wasn't learning the law of attraction. It was unlearning the limiting beliefs of her past. She understood that these beliefs were not truths, but perspectives handed down through generations, colored by their own struggles and fears. This realization was a ray of light but also a daunting challenge. How could she rewrite the narrative that had been her life script? In a moment of introspection, Emma faced the truth. Her skepticism was less about the law of attraction and more about her fear of letting go of what was familiar. She feared the vulnerability that came with hope, the possibility of disappointment, if this new way of thinking didn't transform her life as promised. Yet, deep down, she also feared what it would mean if it did work. The responsibility of acknowledging that she had the power to change her life all along. Emma started small, replacing each negative thought with a positive affirmation. It felt awkward, like learning a new language, but she persisted. She began to notice subtle shifts, a sense of calm during her commutes, a smile from a stranger, an unexpected compliment at work. These were small victories, yet they held immense power. They were evidence that her world was responding to her changing mindset. Emma's journey with the law of attraction was not a miraculous transformation. It was a series of small steps of learning and unlearning, of embracing new truths while releasing old ones. She continued to battle her skepticism, but with each passing day, she found it easier to believe in the possibility of a life shaped by her own thoughts and desires. Emma's life in the city, once a canvas of endless possibilities, had gradually become overshadowed by fear. This fear was not loud or dramatic. It was subtle, a quiet undercurrent influencing her every decision. From the jobs she didn't apply for to the opportunities she didn't pursue. It was this same fear that now cast a shadow over her experiments with the law of attraction. Each day, Emma tried small exercises in manifestation attracting a better work project, a new friend, or even just a peaceful day. But time and again, she found herself facing disappointment. Her experiments seemed to falter before they even began, unbeknownst to her. It was her underlying fear of failure, of unworthiness, of change, that was the dominant force overpowering her tentative attempts at positive thinking. It was during a particularly challenging day. 
one filled with minor setbacks and frustrations, that Emma had a critical realization. She understood that the law of attraction was not a one-way street. It was a dynamic interplay of her desires and her deepest, often unacknowledged feelings, her fears, more deeply rooted and constantly fed, were the dominant force dictating the direction of her life. Emma knew that if she was to truly harness the power of the law of attraction, she had to confront her fears. She began journaling, bringing her fears into the light of consciousness. It was a painful process, acknowledging the insecurities and doubts that had silently steered her life. But in this acknowledgement lay her power, the power to recognize and then gradually release these fears. As Emma worked on acknowledging and releasing her fears, she continued her experiments with the law of attraction. She noticed that as the weight of her fears lessened, her successes, though still small, became more frequent. A compliment here, a positive feedback there, signs that the balance was shifting. Emma learned that the law of attraction was a delicate dance between desire and fear, belief and doubt. She understood that her thoughts and feelings were in constant conversation, shaping the reality that unfolded around her. The dominant force, whether fear or desire, would indeed prevail. Emma's journey with the Law of Attraction had evolved from a quest for quick changes to a deeper understanding of her inner world. She realized that mastering the Law of Attraction was not just about attracting what she wanted, but about understanding and transforming who she was. It was a journey of self-discovery, where each step each realization brought her closer to a life not dictated by fear, but led by hope and desire. Continue to follow Emma's journey by subscribing and joining us for more inspiring stories at lawofattractionradionetwork.com. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button to help us grow so we can continue to provide you with inspirational stories of transformation.